Tell I it. got a question. Yes. Now, everybody know what's going on with this Russian thing, right? With mm. Putin put out there. Yeah. In all these years, he decided to put it out now. During a visit to the Solovetsky Monastery, Vladimir Putin was introduced to a 16th century icon depicting Black Jesus. This experience sparked his interest in these unique religious artifacts, leading to increased efforts to restore and promote them throughout Russia. Putin has been a strong advocate for the preservation and recognition of Black Jesus icons, recognizing their importance to Russia's cultural and religious heritage. His support has facilitated not only the restoration of these icons, but also their integration into the public domain, enhancing their visibility and appreciation. When we learned how to remove the dark layers, we discovered underneath an overwhelming beauty, to such an extent that it shocked André Matisse, who was in Moscow at the time. He said, it's here that artists should come to learn to paint, not to Italy. Well, see, right about now, right, it, mm -hmm. remember how the scriptures say that, uh, in this day, it's going to be, you know, all kind of doctrines floating around and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just going to be doctrines everywhere. Everywhere. So here it is, right? You got a situation where we might be ending up going to war and all that other stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But what, what, what uh, people do uh, in order to get like, an <clears throat> advantage right you start trying to you know let's just say divide and conquer right because right now there's nobody on the face of the planet that can compete with the united states with all of the weapons that they have right so it might be a decent strategy just to say well we can go on ahead and get these black people to turn on these white people because you know, they've been uh, telling this uh, story all these many years that, you know, the Jews are actually white when they got evidence that the Jews are actually black, right? So that might cause some of the black people to have some discontent with uh, the government of the United States saying, well, they've been lying to y'all and y'all actually this, this, that, and the third. You know, okay, and you know, now the people are starting to get <coughs> the information that we already knew that, you know, the black people, uh, according to the Bible, those people uh, are black, right? Here's where the problem lies, right? The problem lies in they're convincing the people that in order to get the kingdom of heaven, you have to be an Israelite, right? And that's a lie. And it's a damnable lie at that, all right? And that's what's going to cause a lot of people. What the first thing that they're going to do is they're going to get angry, right? It's just like whenever you know something and... um You've been saying it for a long time that this is this way and everybody's <coughs> telling you, no, 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 it's not like that. It's not like that. You're imagining it. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. And then you get vindication, right? That no, it's actually this, right? But <clears throat> the thing is, the black people being the, the, the Jews of the Bible, uh, <coughs> It really doesn't have any <clears throat> effect on your salvation. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The problem that you have is you got these people, 
right? These wicked people mm -hmm. who they want to use whatever they can use in order to get uh, the people to follow their doctrine, right? And when they have a, a situation like this, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to say, see, I told you they was lying, da, da 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 Well, we already knew who the people are. They went so far as to try and give half credit to say that uh, um, Jesus was not white. They even did like a, a big to-do about it, right? But uh, at the end of the day, most people know he ain't white. So they already know the depiction that they putting up there of Jesus is incorrect, right? But it's a political <laughs> football. But the whole thing is, it really doesn't matter what he looks like, right? Mm -hmm. Because everybody that follows the doctrine according to the Bible they can receive salvation. All right. A lot of these people are going to get caught up in being angry about finding out. Right. It's going to be a lot of white folks going to be angry because they think Jesus looked like them. Right. So here's the thing. You got to ask yourself, you know, there was this guy, real peaceful guy, and he spread the doctrine of peace as much as he could all over the world. <laughs> and, um, but his nationality was an Indian. His name was Mahatma Gandhi. Now, does anyone feel cheated because Mahatma Gandhi didn't look like them. But that man did what he did. Right? He taught that mm -hmm. peace. Another guy by the name of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He brought that same message. Does anybody feel that they were cheated because Dr. Martin Luther King is not their same race? But it's no different with Jesus. Jesus. Jesus brought the same message that they brought. They brought a message of nonviolence and peace. That was the message. That's the doctrine of God. You can like it or not like it. Well, he's a Christian. Oh, this guy Hindu or this guy this that. It really <coughs> don't matter. Right? Because the doctrine is universal. So there's no need to feel like you're cheated because you don't descend carnally from a man who just happened to be a black man, according to the Bible. And I keep saying according to the Bible for a reason, right? Because what they want to do, they want you to get caught up in a political football. Mm -hmm. That political football is anti-Semitism, right? Right. Now, they can go and they can use whatever they want to say that they this, they that, and all that other stuff. That's fine. You know, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter, right? But what's important is what the Bible says, okay? And the Bible clearly shows you what the man looked like. It's in Revelation 1, right? Now, we've done uh, videos to challenge that particular uh, that particular scripture in Revelation 1 because of how they're using it. <coughs> mm -hmm. All right? Because carnally being the carnal seed or descendant of some black people that went into slavery don't guarantee you that you're going to get the kingdom. You got to know what that Bible's saying. All right. And so, you know, a lot of people, you know, they sit there, look at us. They're like, man, y'all a bunch of, 
y'all a bunch of uncle tums and all that other stuff you know y'all won't come out and say da 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 hey the bible tells you what christ looks like but the thing is it doesn't mean that just because he black and you black you automatically get the king because if you black and you hate white people or any other race of people you definitely aren't going to get the kingdom according to the most high because the thing that keeps you from getting the kingdom of heaven is that hate so now's come the time where you know <coughs> all the cards on the table you know the man went and he he went on ahead and he put it out there he said that you know we've got evidence that black people descend from the Israelites now that's going to give him a political win because what he just did was he just betrayed all of the people that's been keeping that lie all these many years because it's in his interest to do that all right it's in his interest to do that <coughs> because right now it's almost certain that it's going to be a war it's almost certain that it's going to be a war. All right. That ain't, I'm not saying that to make, you know, people get nervous and, you know, it's just, it's just the way of the world. The most I already said, you know, it was going to be a contentious time. Right. And now we had a situation where we got to deal with this stuff. Right. This is your opportunity to purge yourself of that hatred. Right now, they got a situation where, you know, um, that war is going on over there in Israel. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and a lot of people believe Israel is going overboard because they're killing all them innocent people. And, and I'm in agreement with that. You know, you can sit there and say, well, we got to do whatever, whatever. But, you know, you're going to suffer that condemnation for what you're doing. <coughs> All right. But don't forget. It was 2001. When that when that plane went through that world trade. Right, both mm -hmm. of them. Yeah. Right. Then they hit the Pentagon. Right. Now, as a result of that action, over half a million Iraqis die at the hand of the United States of America. All right. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Now. I personally don't I don't participate in the political process, right? That's just me. I'm not saying it's a sin to vote, right? Like a lot of people tell you, I, it's, it's, it's not a sin to vote. You can vote for who you want to, right? But when them people you vote for go and they take that vote that you gave them as permission to speak for you, Mm -hmm. Right, and then they go start doing stuff. Well, you bear some responsibility in that <coughs> you gave them the authority <laughs> to do. It. That's why I don't participate in that process, right? Because right. I don't want nobody speaking for me. Smart man, smart man. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> However, when that happened in the United States twenty some years ago, this whole country became angry whenever you become angry right and you want revenge right and you got some wicked people who sitting up in there in that seat what they'll do sometimes is they'll go and they'll use that authority that you gave them to take care of another <coughs> agenda y'all see that mm -hmm. so what did they do they turned around and they used it as an excuse to take out Iraq, who had 
nothing to do with the attack on New York City and the World Trade. They had nothing to do with that. Right? Mm-hmm. But it's a half a million or more. Because you all you can go by is the numbers that they present to you. Right? But you'll never know how many people died over there. It could have been over a million, for all you know. All you're doing is going by what these statistics or whatever these people who quote unquote did the counting tells you. Right? But them people had nothing to do with what happened on 9 11. Mm. And they died because the government did that. Now, here's these people. They got attacked, right? And they're using that attack in order to justify killing all of them people that didn't have anything to do with it. All right? So this is the situation that happens whenever somebody has an agenda. And for the most part, that guy Putin got an agenda. Mm -hmm. Right? They see the Israelite movement and all that other Mm -hmm. stuff. And they see that how these guys are very effective in getting people to hate their brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? (laughs) Now, mind you, the average American living better than anybody, mm-hmm. right? For for the most part, there might be countries here or there that's living better than America, but it ain't many of them. So they call that gain, right? You've got gain by virtue of you living in this place, right? However, those Israelite camps. Mm-hmm. They make it seem as if you're behind when in fact you're not. All right. Mm -hmm. Everybody got to work in order to be something here. All right. The moment you go and you say, well, I'm going to accept my lot in life and I'm just going to sit down and I'm just going to take what they give me. All right. You're in a situation now where it's predictable what your outcome is going to be, right? But the way that mostly black, a lot of black people talk, uh, think, right? They just accept their situation. A lot of them do, right? But there's a lot of people that ain't going for it. All you got to do is just look and see how a lot of these white folks react if, let's say, for instance, you at a McDonald's or you at a, a fast food joint or something, right? In a in a black neighborhood, and a white person comes in there and they look and they see the service and the situation with that store. The first thing they gonna do is become offended and they're going to say this ain't right but guess how far they'll go they'll go and they'll call that corporate office and say y'all need to come down here and fix this they'll demand it a lot of black people just sit back and say well yeah (laughs) I guess that's our lot in life you know sometimes you have to demand Sometimes you have to go and say, you know what? You know, it's all right for these people to sit up in here and, you know, go from this uh, school to prison pipeline, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the opportunity to improve myself. And that's where a lot of us find our problems, right? Because we don't do what's necessary to go and succeed. So, we become people who blame everybody else for our situation. Now, I'm not saying that to say that racism don't exist. It does. I'm not saying that um, black people don't deal with challenges because of their skin color. I'm not saying that because that exists. It happens every day. 
However, you got a couple options. You can sit there and you can accept it and say, well, you know, that's our lot in life. Or you can go on that extra mile and start calling the general manager from your area. Start making a difference. Start saying, well, you know, uh, I notice all these people, whenever it come down to this old calculus, they running from it. I'm going to see whether or not I can do it. A lot of times, we are so afraid, right? A lot of us afraid to even succeed. Because you're going to get, well, you know, like, like, look at that. They're trying to be like they white or so. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> when, when did being intelligent become, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, you can't fit in with us because you're too smart. I mean, are you serious, bro? But at the end of the day, that guy, he opening up his vaults and stuff like that because he know you the vulnerable people. You the ones who gonna take that information and then you gonna start having discontent with the people who you been raised among. Right? You can't go back. All them slave masters, trust me, all of them did. <coughs> all of them. But you keep looking and you see people like the lady by the name name of Mae Jennison. That lady was an astronaut. She went into space. She ain't sit there and say, well, you know, <laughs> we only so smart. She ain't sit there and do that. You got this guy. He's a, a billionaire. He just came maybe a couple years ago to this graduating class over there at, at Morehouse. He said, look here, man, I'm gonna pay for y'all. Uh, I'm gonna pay for all y'all. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't worry about it, I got it. He did that. But you know, I mean, there ain't no black people. Who, he did it. Black man. See what I'm saying? People, what they do, they isolate little situations that a lot of people going through. I mean to tell you, everybody who black in America ain't broke. Right. There's a lot of black people. The most educated person in America is a black woman. They're the ones getting them PhDs and the master's degrees and all that other stuff. They're the ones doing that. <laughs> That's about the most educated person in America is a black woman. So if if you look and you see all of these, because now all you're seeing is like in politics and all of these businesses and all that, you're seeing the black woman face out there. Mm -hmm. You know? Now, she didn't go and say, well, you know, I'm going to take up this fledgling opportunity to become a rap star. She didn't do that. She went to school. She got good grades. Now, all of a sudden, she's the most qualified. That don't mean she's going to always get what she wants. But she got the ability to start her own thing. <clears throat> she can do that. So if you allow this man opening up this vault, so-called vault that nobody didn't know that the black people was, was the descendants of the ancient Israelites, the only people who didn't know was the black people in America. Everybody else know. Everybody else know. Again. It all depends on what your source is. If you use all of these books written by men to say that a certain people are the Jews and that's the people who represent it today as the Jews. You got the right to do that. But the Bible itself tells you what them people look like. Again, our concern is not what the color is. Our concern is that doctrine that that man left. Because that's the doctrine that's going to get you the kingdom. And you can't allow yourself 
to be beguiled into thinking now this gives you the right to act the fool right and get up in here and start attacking people and all that other stuff the most high said in the latter days everything gonna be brought to the light right because now that that been brought to the light the people who he wants to get the kingdom they know who to look for they know the person who gonna come with the doctrine and it ain't the person coming to my kill whitey that ain't the person now it might be some people who look similar to us that's going to come forth. But them people are going to make the choice based upon the goodness of God. And God is merciful. So somebody going to come with the mercy doctrine. That's going to be the signal. That's the end sign that they talk about. All right, the banner. The person that's going to come with that doctrine saying, Everybody can get it if you love your brother. So, anywho, I hope that kind of explains what's going on right now. It's everybody getting ready for war. Go ahead and get I yourself it's, ready. It's coming down. What you say? Uh, I think it's like a propaganda thing. Like it's like a propaganda thing. You know what I mean? Like you said. Mm-hmm. Like, what's your motive for doing that? Mm-hmm. Like you only got one motive That's to secure your ends mm-hmm. You know what I mean Like like you said If you divide and conquer They did. They already did that already Like mm-hmm. they ain't gonna They ain't gonna They If people look at it Since they like history Like even during World War II Like the, the way they won They had to beat They had to beat the German uh, Luftwaffe The Air Force mm-hmm. They had to beat them the people who helped them beat them <coughs> was them boys right out of Tuskegee, Alabama. Yes. They helped they helped to beat them. So they're yes. like, okay, cool. Once they got those boys, they was dropping pamphlets on them to tell them, you fighting for a country that don't even love you, bro. Right. Don't even love you. You know? Right. So they trying to turn, they trying to, it ain't because they want to encourage you that you used to be a king. Yes. Because <laughs> that don't benefit them. You know, Not it don't benefit all. them. And At all. because IUIC is a propaganda machine, mm-hmm. it fits right into their narrative. It's yes. like confirmation yes. bias. See, I yes. told y'all we was canes. Yes. Like, yes. so that still don't change your economic, political. It don't advance you in no from no position. So yeah. it, it's irrelevant. That don't mean right. that don't make no. Never mind. Your kids don't eat an extra meal because of it, no. and you don't get an extra plate. So no. it, it's irrelevant information that don't help nobody. That create the it, it basically put us further. Like. Against what we're trying to do, which is get people to focus on not eating nobody. Correct. Like he 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 he's starting a fire with what he's doing though. Yes. Smart what he's doing. Oh, they no, they it, playing right into it. Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna be war, yo. It's, yes. it's inevitable. Like other stuff said, it's inevitable. Yes. Those boys, people gonna be saying, You've been lying to us all our lives, and they're gonna blame the <laughs> Caucasian man. Yeah. yeah. And they're gonna hate him <laughs> even more. We'll all they all streets. he did was add on <laughs> Go ahead, gas to the fire, man. Yeah, that's what so they Oh, do. yeah, yeah. That's yeah, I think have. everything yeah. they can do to push hate or division mm-hmm. in any way, mm-hmm. whether it's anti Muslim, anti black, anti white, and you know, whatever, that's their agenda to me. Yeah. And if you're in yeah. you're at peace, then you're on my side. Now, y'all understand anything. what Armageddon is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, what he just said is the answer to you actually seeing what Armageddon is. Armageddon is it's going to be a battle over doctrines. <laughs> you're going to have the hate doctrine and you're going to have the peace doctrine. The right. peace doctrine is not exclusive to the Israelites. Every nation knows the difference between love and hate. That's why I mentioned Mm -hmm. Muhammad God. That man wasn't no Israelite, but he knew nonviolence was the way. 
He knew peace was the way. That's the way. Regardless of what your nationality is, the most high responds to peace. Mm -hmm. That's what's important. The people who fit the primary description of the Bible as the Israelites are the people bringing the hate doctrine now. Mm. Think about that. And the Most High clearly stated that if you hate your brother, you can't get the king. That first John. Can I say something? 3 and 15. Go ahead. Ain't it funny how people who claim like they got disenfranchised turn around and be the ones to do it back to other people and they yes. still want somebody to, to have pity on them? <clears throat> that yes. same thing is playing out right now mm -hmm. in the Middle yes. East. Yes. Like you asking mm -hmm. for mercy and you're also being the bully at the same time. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's cognitive dissonance, bro. That don't even yeah. make sense. Yeah. That don't make any type of sense. Yeah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, because these 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 weapons that they have now, they're just too powerful. Yes. Okay. So whenever it go down, it's going to go down. You got some nut thinking that he can, you know. But well, we could win a, a nuclear war. Okay. You could believe that, but that's not the case. Now, it may be some people who have great means and are of great importance that might be able to dig in the ground and delay their death. But with them, with them missiles that they have, it don't take a thousand missiles to destroy <coughs> human life on the planet. All right. I know they, they, they show y'all all of that. You know, listen, you you one or two nukes can take out the west the western portion of the United States. All right, mm -hmm. make it where nobody can't drink no water. All right, don't take much. Right, they had this uh, way back in the early 1900s or something like that. A meteor struck somewhere over there in Russia, and you had like clouds you know from from that meteor you know it, i mean it really people don't really understand how powerful those weapons are all right those weapons are powerful not like that little thing that they dropped on on uh hiroshima and nagasaki even though they did great damage they pale in comparison to the weapons that they got now. The weapons that they got mm, now. Right. <laughs> ain't nobody gonna yeah. survive that thing, man. Mm. They got they got the only reason they paying attention to them them folks over there in North Korea is cause they know how to push a missile out the top of a submarine. <laughs> okay. So if they can get off the coast of the United States they can rain down on the United States. They ain't worried about them sending no missiles no, all over the oceans and all that other stuff. They don't care nothing about that. Them people got subs. If you got a nuclear sub, you got <clears> the ability <throat> to destroy people. That's why they keep an eye on that. If he do anything out the way, they're going to take him out. Plain and simple. But that's where we at now. He's not a he's not a huge country. They don't have all of this economic power and all that other stuff. But if they got on the coast of California, they could wreak havoc on the United States. That's why everybody paying attention to them. All right. But mm -hmm. when you reject peace and your your agenda is to, you know, have everybody under your thumb to do what you say then you know you create enemies so that's the situation we in now so being that them Russian people they don't have the same level of technology that the United States has they have to use other means in order to put themselves in a situation where they're able to at the very least have an advantage if the war goes down. Their advantage is to turn the black people in America against mm. the government of America. You just got to be smart. Just because, just because black people used to be a gang, 
that ain't gonna stop them from uh they ain't gonna they ain't gonna stop Putin from uh take it make him take his his his, his put his trinket figure away. Mm. And if if he do decide, it ain't gonna make them not get consumed with that fire. So you know what will help them is not hating nobody. Yeah, you know that will help you. That's that that might help out. you. That's your only way. Right. <clears throat> That's your only. People don't realize. Listen, when this thing goes down, the only option you're going to have at salvation is love. That's it. Love gets your mercy. That's it. Mm-hmm. If you say, I'm going to forgive my brother for not being perfect like me. When you come to that conclusion that being that you're not perfect, you're not qualified to judge him, then you can go and say, well, you know what? Whatever it is that he does, okay, that's between him and the Most High. I just don't want him to be judging me for all this stuff I've been doing behind the scenes that nobody don't know about. So once you get to that point, you good. Hey, they can get there and they can say, well, you know, you got to do this, you got to do that. Da, da, da. You can't eat pork, you can't do this. All them people sitting up there right now at uh, Passover and all that other stuff. And Passover that they doing ain't got nothing to do with salvation because they're not teaching yeah. them that they got to be the they the Passover lamb. 